Hello, all you beautiful people out there, all of you that are choosing to watch. I'm sitting here in the memorial that we made for our baby we lost. She's just got some onesies and toy Michael bought for our baby. And this is a picture of the ultrasound, paintings that we've made, um, the pregnancy test, the baby spoon that my mom gave me that um, Michael's grandparents gave them for me when I was a baby. And um, another painting. Anyways, this video is addressing the concern um, when we started the GoFundMe campaign today. I got a couple of comments saying um, maybe you shouldn't have a child if you can't pay for the, the four to nine hundred for genetic testing. And uh, my response is we wouldn't have a child if our test results came back showing we have a high, high likelihood of one or more defects. And that's why we're taking the test. So if we took the test, I mean, we wouldn't be facing the cost of raising a child. And I have raised three children. Um, and in the last 10 years, I've been a single mom. So I understand the costs of raising babies and children. But mainly, I just wanted to clear that up when people say, well, you know, if you can't afford that, then why are you considering having a child? This is the preliminary step before trying to conceive again. Uh, we got heavily criticized, of course, for, um, for getting pregnant in the first place, which wasn't planned, which we felt like we did everything that we could to um, take care of the situation. Like we got married and we have been fighting to legalize our marriage and, you know, just preparing ourselves. And now that um, we're not pregnant anymore, we want to go ahead and do the responsible thing by seeking this genetic testing. So, I mean, no matter what, we're going to get criticized because we're cousins and peop some people think that that's wrong. Um, but I just hope that I'm able to explain and give a little bit of um, some, some more context and details. And also, uh, really important to mention that I've been extremely reluctant to start a GoFundMe campaign because um, I've never been a fan of that kind of thing, of asking for money. Um, I've never been the type of person to ask for anything. Generally, you know, I was taught to be self-sufficient and you gotta do everything yourself. Um, so it's hard for me to ask for help. At this point though, you know, I quit dancing, so um, Michael's income is not going to be able to cover that cost for us. And so I felt like at this point it would be a good idea to just go ahead and put it out there. And maybe, you know, we've got, I put it on our petition. So we have over a thousand signatures and maybe a couple people, you know, who have the means would be willing to donate. Um, I've also thought of just setting up a Venmo because GoFundMe does take a fee. They do take a percentage, and so I don't think that's necessarily the most efficient way to donate. Um, but anyways, just hopefully this clarifies for some of you who think that, uh, you know, it's a bad idea. That this is the thought process, and the, these are the reasons, and this is what's going on. Um, comment if you have any more thoughts. Thank you.